in this lesson, we're going to learn about measures of location, which is also referred to as the five number summary. So I have a data set below. And when we when we deal with the five number summary, one of the things I want to really point out to start off with is we want to make sure that the data is arranged in order. Typically, we want to ascending smallest to largest in order to do this if we're doing it by hand. Now, just a side note, there are 11 data points in this set that are, are given below. And what we're going to do is uh, find the five number summary or these measures of location within the data set. I'm going to start off with two of the values that are fairly easy to, to locate. And those would be the minimum value and the uh, maximum value, which are very easy to see. So our minimum value is equal to 36 and our maximum value is equal to 69. So that was fairly easy. The next one that I want to focus in on is the median value. So if you recall, the median value is the middle value when data is arranged in order. Now, since we have 11 data points right here, what we could do is we could take the 11 and divide it by two to help us find the middle. 11 divided by two is 5.5. So whenever you get that fractional value, that means that there's one value left over in the middle and there's exactly five numbers on the left of it and five numbers on the right of it. So if we count off one, two, three, four, five, here is our middle value right there. And we're also going to have five values on the right of it. So that's going to be our median value within the data set, that value of 44. So not too hard to find. The next thing we're going to talk about are the quartiles. And we're going to use that same idea or that same process for finding quartiles. And we'll look at a couple other scenarios so we understand a little bit more about that. But before we get there, let's find the quartiles of this data set. So when the median is within the data set, you can see that I have this value of 44. It's an actual value in the data set. What we do um, for the method that we're going to be using in class is we're going to ignore that middle value and we're going to find the median of the values to the left of that. So we look at these five values to the left of the 44 and we can see that the median of those values is this value of 39 and that's going to be our first quartile or Q1. So Q1 equals 39. And similarly on the right side we're going to find the median of the values to the right of that 44 that I have circled and that median happens to be 45. That's going to be our third quartile Q3. So Q3 is equal to 45. So this would be our five number summary. Later on, we'll learn how to use this five number summary to construct our box plot. But I want to look at a couple other scenarios so we understand how to find um, our medians and our quartiles when we have data sets that are even data sets. Now here's a second data set that I want to take a look at so we can make sure that we understand this. So this data set right here happens to have uh, one less point than the other one. I eliminated the value of 69. So now we have 10 points in the data set. So if we have 10 points, the median value, um, we're only going to focus on the quartiles and the median value. I'm not going to focus on the minimum and maximum because I think you can get those. But in this case right here, we have 10 data points. So we'd have to divide this in half. So we should have five on each side of the median. So the median would occur right here between those two values. So this 43 and this 44 right here, in order to find our median value, we'd have to average those two things. So 43 plus 44 is going to be 87. If I divide that by two, that's going to be 43.5. For finding our quartiles, this time we don't have a value that's specifically in the data set we have a dividing line right there. So we're going to look to the values of the left of this and find our median value. And when we look at that, our median value happens to be this value of 39. So that's going to be Q1 in this data set right here. And then we're going to look to the right of this line, find the median of those data points right there, and that's going to be Q3. And that's equal to 45. So now if you look at the two data sets that I have up here so far, you can see that this divides those up into four equal chunks. That's where we get the measures of location from. And the idea of these quartiles are dividing it up into quarters. Similarly over here, this is dividing the data set up into quarters uh, when we look at uh, Q1, the median, and Q3. Now one thing I didn't mention over here is that these uh, the five number summary can also go by other terms. The minimum actually can be called Q0. The median can actually be called Q2, the second quartile, and the maximum could be called Q4. 
And then we could also talk about these in terms of percentiles. The minimum would be the zeroth percentile. Q1 would be the 25th percentile. The median or Q2 would be the 50th percentile. Q3 would be the 70th or 75th percentile. And then the maximum value would be the 100th percentile. Now let's take a look at one additional data set where we have an even number of data points so we can see how we would handle this. In this data set, again, you can see I reduced it by a couple more points. It's basically the same data set being recycled over and over, just with fewer values. We only have eight values within this data set. Again, I'm going to start off with that same procedure where I find the median value. Since there's eight, it's going to happen between the fourth and the fifth value. It's going to be the average of those two values right there for our median. So that's going to be 41 plus 43, which is going to be 84. Uh, divided by 2, that's going to be 42. And then again, since we have a value um, that's not in the data set, we have a dividing line, we're gonna find the median of the values to the left of those. We only have four values to the left of those. We're gonna use that same idea of finding a median, which is going to happen between here. 37 plus 39 is going to be um, 60 or 76, I'm sorry. And 76 divided by two is going to be 38. So Q, one is going to equal 38. I just took the average of these two values right here. And then similarly over here, it's going our, our median for the right side of that is going to take place between those two values right there. So I'm simply gonna average the 44 is to find Q3, which to no surprise that value is actually 44 right there. So hopefully we understand that we're just gonna use an inspection method in order to find our quartiles in our median, and we're going to follow that same procedure over and over again. Later on, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to use the five number summary in order to generate a graphic called a box plot. And then we'll also use some components of the five number summary to help determine whether or not outliers are present in a data set.